Welcome to Tube Time, presented by New England Tubing Technologies. I'm Tim Finn, a design engineer here at NETT. And I'm Derek Wilkins, regional sales manager here at NETT. Today we're here to talk about reinforcement and reinforcement materials. We get frequent questions from customers regarding what materials are available and what we would choose. Tim, what would we have available right now for materials that we could use as a reinforcement? So generally we stock a lot of round and flat wire. Uh, we have copper and copper alloys, and we also have some stock of aramid textiles, uh, as well as high strength polymers. And to further that, what would be the leading factor in choosing which material? Generally we go flat wire over round if there's uh, wall thickness constraints or dimensional constraints. Um, cost can be associated with going with flat rather than round. Uh, if you go with a high strength polymer, they're generally more costly and made to order, so we don't stock as many. Air made and other textiles generally don't perform as well for kink recovery or hoop strength. Um, regarding maybe MRI, does that have a factor in what you would that choose? It definitely does. So in those situations, we avoid stainless steel altogether as well as copper and cal copper alloys. Great, thanks for the feedback, Tim. No problem, Derek. Thanks for joining us on Tube Time with New England Tubing Technologies. Please visit our website if you have any specific questions you would like answered.